Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to the Human Experience Challenge. And we are joining Amara and Don as she goes around town trying to find out more about Strangerville and um, getting some more done on her Strangerville mystery aspiration. So she it's the summer, she's in her summer outfit. Don is there chatting up somebody. It looks like he's trying to get her into bed to be honest. Let's see. Talk about Strangerville. Talk about Strangerville. Did you order those? I don't think... Oh, you might have done. Oh no, don't clean them. Yeah, eat the chips. I did buy her a bed. And I was going to buy her at least um, a shower. But we couldn't afford it, so I just bought her a better bed. Okay, I think that got your hunger up, which is awesome. And we have another celeb. Who are you? Brittany Cho. Talk about Strangerville. I think we've only got one one other person to talk about Strangerville now. Because, I mean, all they tell you is, I've heard of something, and you need to go to the secret lab. Right, that's done. By Curio from the Curio shop, examine sealed door at the secret lab. Yeah, everyone's there. Everyone's talking about going to the secret lab. Um, whisper about celebrity. Octavia Moon, Orange Bailey Moon, Brittany Cho. Well, Brittany Cho's there. Dustin Broke is a celeb. Baby Ariel. I know Baby Ariel is a real person. I think she's a Instagrammer. I didn't realise she was in the game. I know she has stuff in The Sims Mobile, but I didn't realise she was in The Sims 2. Hmm. Interesting. But no, let's let's oh, gossip about Ina. Britney Chokes. Britney's right here in front of us. Oh, I guess that's not possible. And Don's disappeared. He probably had to go to work or something. Well, in that case, let's buy a curio from the curio shop. I said, I don't know where that is. Um, I can't zoom out anymore. Is that it? Ah, there you go. Because there's a, a distinct lack of lots. Yeah, there's a distinct lack of lots in this. Is you know, I mean, you saw it in the other episode, and I don't know why. Why it keeps doing that? Okay, who are you? What do we want to buy? The spy bug. Oh. That's 25. How much you got? 133. Um, probably not be eaten. Cow plant dissected. Crappy bottom and armadillo blue. Spy bug looks like. But actually, we've got the aspiration. We've got the. We got it without actually having to buy anything. Which is probably a bit of a bug. And it also examine the sealed lab, sealed door at secret lab. Let's go to the secret lab then, because Don's deserted us. There's the secret lab. Oh, he does appear on our list. But let's invite Caleb, because I want to see if Caleb can bring up his. We give, we'll give him equal time. Because I don't know if he'll bring, if we'll, if you know, if we can bring up his relationship. Um, talk about Strangerville. And he's not burning up in the sun, so I guess that he's not really a, a vampire. Is he? No, he's not smoking, so he's not a real vampire. Maybe he's a he's a hybrid. 
I don't know. But that flashing red door must be the one that we need to examine. And what are you two talking about? Oh, now you're just chatting. Okay. Go ahead, Amara. I want you to go look at the door. You can chat to Caleb in a minute. And you could probably call him over, to be honest. But this is the abandoned secret lab. It would have been cool if it had, you know, smashed windows and graffiti all over the walls. We'll take notes. <laughs> as you do. I wonder what that says. I'm not very good at Simlish, so I don't know. Is Caleb still here or has he left? I'm not seeing him. Ooh. We've got that. The door is locked. It looks like it requires a key card. Someone around town might be able to get one. Before leaving, poke around the secret lab to gather more information. And they say that there's something in the notebook. So if we go to our notebook. Okay. All it is is just find a key card to open the secret lab door. Oh, so we've got to search for evidence in all these piles. And Caleb's gone. He probably... I don't know why he's disappeared. Oh, there he is. He came inside. Okay. Sorry, Caleb, for maligning you. And there was me thinking you were really rubbish and that you'd run off. I wonder if the... um. The follow camera doesn't work anymore because now you have the first person view which is vomit inducing and very scary. Hastily scrawled note. Wonder what happens after you get 15 pieces of, in of evidence. I guess you can... I guess you can compile a dossier and then open the secret door. Okay. Well... Let's speed you through this, Amara. And what's wrong with you? Oh, you want to use the toilet? You might have to wait for a little bit, just a little bit. Just go through some more evidence. Because, you know, you work for me, Amara. I tell you when you can use the toilet. And not before. Does that sound was that was that good, do you think? Packet of mysterious seeds. Do they not have any bath at all? Oh no, that's inside. I just put so you can go downstairs, but you need to get through the door. Did I look through all the evidence? Yeah. I think I did. Can he use the computer? Hack for evidence. Programming level 3. Okay. Well, in that case, let's take Caleb. And more choices, actions. Invite to. We found a clandestine dongle. Chat with Caleb? Didn't I? Oh no, I think if I ask, if I invite to, she's going to go over and chat with him. Right, Caleb, yes. And we will go to the gym because they have a toilet and her house doesn't. Right. Go sort yourself out. Go on. <coughs> oh, and he's automatically changed into his his workout club. Why are you tired? Or is the sunlight getting to him? I don't know. He's not smoking. Which is what sims usually do, vampire sims usually do when they're out in the sun. Right. 
Okay, hygiene. Well, you know, freshen up. It really is a pity that they don't have a vending machine on the lot. Maybe I could add one. I mean, it's not really conducive <laughs> to to your fitness goals, having a vending machine. But it is conducive to my storyline. If I put a vending machine, it'll be out here by the swimming pool. Let's see if we can add one. Um, build mode. Is it going to give me unlimited... Oh, it does give me un unlimited funds. It would help if I could actually spell the word vending. No. Vend. Magi heals vendomatic. No, it, there was... Because there's one in the science thing. What would that be? Let me have a poke around and I will be right back. Okay, I've put a fridge in. Um, it's not quite what I was looking for, but... You know, it's better than cereal. Does she do cereal? It's better than nothing. And it looks like it's got energy drinks in it. So we'll pretend that she's buying energy drinks. I should have really looked, paid more attention to what was going on in the science lab. But I didn't think I'd actually need to. <laughs> So yeah, so we've got our food going on. Oh, what was the other thing we need to do? <coughs> Excuse me. Gather 15 pieces of evidence. Search boxes and papers at the secret lab. Search the Strangerville archives at the library. Question Sims around Strangerville and buy a listening device to listen in on scientists and military personnel. Okay. Yeah, Caleb has that. How about get to know? I think we should get to know Caleb. He's talking about eating junk food. So, that's good, I guess. If you're a vampire, you're not going to be talking about eating junk food. And I really don't know where that conversation's going. But Amara just I just like this earth food. Earth food is awesome. Well, I wonder what that symbol is. I don't know. World Adventures. I missed World I miss World Adventures from The Sims 3. That was pretty cool. One of these days I think I might do a Sims 3 playthrough again. But I don't know. And who else can we talk to? Can we talk to Jess? I don't think we can. Question about military base. Talk about Stranger Phil. And Don's there. More choices. Can we get to know Don? I think we've up. I think we've get gotten to know him. We can ask him to move in. Which would be interesting. But Don went somewhere with us. We'll let Caleb go somewhere with us. And then we'll see at the end of both. Because they're not like dates or anything. Uh, secret lab, scientists. Yeah, we know about the secret lab. I think we need to go to the library. Who's that you're talking to? That's the party house guy. Marcus Flex. I'm sure he worked at the... He worked at the thing. Yeah, because you know him. He work, used to work... He works at the lab. More choices. Uh, friendly... Is there a get to know? Give inspirational speech. Wow. Oh, she really wants to do this whole fitness thing. Because, you know, Amara, I really wanted you to go down to the library, but you're, you're like, yeah, 
I can beat this thing, which is good. But once we, we'll get you, we'll get you level up to one, one more level, and then we'll go down to the library because the library never closes, which is good. That's what you need for a library for it never to close. You'll not learn. I will. Uh, okay. Okay, in the library. Search the archives. The archives do look very impressive. I wonder if there's any secret doors in here. Is there any secret doors? Secret rooms? Oh, there's a toilet in the in the library. Oh, okay. That's good. So we don't always have to go to the gym to go to the library. And she's glowing again. Do you think Sims don't notice when other Sims glow? Because, you know, I think that'd be a dead giveaway. There's something different about me. I'm glowing, unless they just think they're glowing with good health. I really don't know. Get to know. While you're reading in the archives, you can get to know Caleb. I'm loving these posters. That was quite funny. No, Moira, we don't want to check it out. And he's come around to sit opposite her. How cute. Girl, he's always talking about food. Always. So he can't be a vampire. Because he's out in the sun. Talking about food. I'm assuming that's fine art rather than busts. And he looked kind of horrified at not having any sun. So I don't think he is a vampire. I think he might be a hybrid or he's going to turn or something. I can't remember his story. What is that for? I keep seeing that popping up in his in his conversation. Has he got vampire teeth? I don't know if he's got vampire teeth. Okay. Um, we don't want to um, deep conversation. Do you get deep conversation with somebody who's not your friend? I don't know. Let's see. Relationships. Friends. It's still just Dom. Ah, Bebs and Caleb is a friend now. There you go. Maybe she should get both of them to move in with her. Yeah, he's got vampire teeth. I don't know. He maybe he's a hybrid. And again with the food. But yeah, maybe we should get both of them to move in with her, because I don't think the challenge actually says what what do you do with the funds if some when someone moves in? And I'm not sure Amara wants to get married. It could be that, you know, she just wants to just wants to be friends with these guys. That looks like a ghost eating a snow cone. It's not though. But that's what it looks like. Alright, you're hungry, so you got strawberries. Eat some strawberries. Collect 15 pieces of Strangerville evidence to compile a secret dossier. And she's glowing again. Oh, didn't mean to, to warp into the thing. But the two of them are actually... Oh, now she's tired. 
I keep forgetting that these bookcases are right there. It's really hard to get a good angle. Amara, personal space, love. Personal space. Although Caleb's not really complaining. But, you know, personal space. Although the... Friends. Caleb and Dawn. He's a friend, he's romantic, he's non-committal, and he's active. And he's materialistic, ambitious, and a foodie. Oh, he is a vampire, he's a grand master. Okay. Well, that should be interesting. Where have you gone? Oh, you're sleeping there. You know what? I'm going to get you... I want you and Caleb to get together, because... I want to see what kind of hybrid babies you two can have. So that is my master plan. <laughs> and on that note, I think this is a good time to finish the um, finish the episode with, I was just about to call her Kayla, with Amara sleeping on, napping on the Ottoman, Caleb talking about food and whatever that is. Well, what's his traits again? If I can work out what his traits are, I might know what that is. Materialistic, ambitious, and a foodie. Don't know what that is. So, yeah. And on that note, we are going to leave Amara. And we are going to end the episode. So, thanks very much for watching. Um, I would really appreciate it if you can like and or subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so and if you like my content then you can share it with your friends and i will see you in the next episode okay bye bye